Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks, new subscribers, thanks so bloody much for connecting with me guys, I love you for it. This is the sun, it's the sun today. I've been on it every day, every day that the sun has been out, every chance I've gotten. Um, look, the sun, right now, I don't see anything around it, but there's something about the sun in particular itself. You know, why always this black sphere in the center? Why this, why is there no light coming from the center of the sun? I never get light from the center of the sun. I always get it from the ring of fire that's around it. And that's what I call the corona. What people call the corona, I often use the term as that ring of fire. And it's like you have an object or an area, you know, 5 million kilometers, whatever, 5 million miles, however wide they say it is. I've heard many different uh, scenarios, but speculating guys, just theoretically speaking, we're just talking. I'm looking at the sun and it looks like a vast area, circular area or object that is not ablaze, is not lit up and that is not burning, but that is interacting with the oxygen probably in space. This is what I theoretically, maybe possibly am thinking of, you know, it doesn't mean I believe that, but I don't rule anything out and I, I speculate all day long and I try to theorize and I try to use common sense and this is what I try to do and I find many things this way. The sun looks like it's a ring of fire around this empty space or black hole that's interacting with other elements and gases in space. even though there's not that much happening around the sun while I'm there. I mean, listen, if I'm only there for an hour to three hours a day, and sometimes I'll skip a day, I have no choice, life, uh, work, etc. But in reality, I wish I was there all the time. And this is how people look at this. You, I, you see it? You see, this is a lot, okay? Because when you're looking at the sun right now, what's going on is the idea my filtering right now, we could always see three or four barriers. And it's funny, the sun is uh, constructed of these barriers. we got the photosphere, etc., the corona, okay? But what happens is that the center, okay, at one point, it broke. And this is uh, in the last video that I posted, the coronal mass ejection. See, it's, it's just the corona that's flaring. But when the red line and the yellow line in my filtering start to move, they opened up and when they opened up an enormous planet came out planet sized object came out several objects came out of them uh, of the sun literally right out of the sun and i and i got it with the filtering i mean it's just absolutely incredible and you don't see look at it here that was a lot again you saw the yellow part the interior of the sun you see i'm not going to name them whether they're the photosphere the corona it's my filtering. I'm not sure myself. We don't see this with this regular foot. This is live, by the way. It's not a photo. Uh, there are no photos uh, uh, right now. At the beginning, there was a couple of photos, but this is all live, what you're seeing there. And now, really, as close as I can be, I'm not going to say la vague, but the wave, sort of. You could see it, something billowing through the sun making it move invisible objects i don't know you know and here it is guys i was inside this is a coronal mass ejection that you're seeing look at the sun what it's doing look at that come out of the sun that beautiful object almost looks like a craft <laughs> beautiful nose up down whatever it is it's incredible and hold on it's not done the whole width of the top side of the moon of the sun sorry look at what just came out a dark spot over top now watch the sun pulsate this is not my camera the sun doesn't ever do that nor do the layers ever separate like that protons and electrons racing to the speed of light, a gigantic object coming out of the sun. Watch how the sun reacts. This is scary, guys. This is real. Watch how the object comes out 
the tail end now is still coming out. You can see the corona still way off the surface, way off the surface. And there it goes. It pulsates. Watch it. It pulsates. Again, pulsating. I thought it was going to explode. Just absolutely incredible. I enhanced it as much as I could. Now you see the green. There you go. It just shot out a ball. The green part. The line. And now look what it's doing. Oh, the, the sun's pulsating. I don't know what the heck is going on. But this humongous, gigantic, many sizes of Earth object comes out of the sun. And then the sun begins to pulsate drastically like I've never seen it before. It, it, listen, it just doesn't, it doesn't do that. I've never seen the sun do that. It looks like a heart beating. You can see it pulsating. And this <laughs> beautiful, isn't that incredible? Uh, I, the first crazy penguin you remember, bro, he's uh, part of the community. It's been uh, a year now. I don't know how long, ever since the beginning. And uh, he sent me first a welding glass because he heard me commenting that I wanted a welding glass and wanted to try solar a bit because I was interested on the sun. When I did that, ask Crazy Penguin, it started to rain for three weeks. It, it was black here. And then after that, I went up for the first time and I got a craft going into the sun. Then I got an, I, several asteroids whizzing by the sun. Then I got this, the coronal mass ejection, and then the sun went dead. Oh, actually, hold on. My gosh, I'm forgetting the most important. I got a planet-sized object beside the sun, which I haven't, um, you know, I wasn't sure if it wasn't the coronal ejection itself that uh, NASA and all the space stations have talked about. Did it spit out this big plasma ball and that now it's becoming you know, cooling off and it's going to become sort of a shell, maybe make a very small planet or, wow, this is amazing. Even the eclipse, look at this. Look at that. Even the eclipse, you know, we saw an object go by, whether it be the ISS, asteroids that I got by the sun. This was all done um, with moderate equipment. So the more equipment that I'll get, uh, it's not the fact of getting a lot of equipment, it's the fact of getting the right equipment. Now that I, I know what I need, um, we're going to find a lot. I mean, look, uh, these are spiraling asteroids. This is absolutely magnificent to be able to catch these. And some of them maybe are not even named. Could you imagine that? This is beautiful. Well, I'm happy to have gotten this up before talking to Steve Olson. I'll be talking to Steve Olson on WSO YouTube channel tonight. You can check him out at the same time. Check out his channel. He's interviewing many people. Carolyn Harder, I love you, dear. Thanks so much for contributing, and thanks for being an amazing part of this community. Beautiful family we're gathering up here on Bruce Sees All. I really cherish each and every one of you. I thank you so much for helping me with my goals and dreams. Stick around.